Welcome back. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different, but I'm going to tell you how to win first Lego League. Now, just to let you know straight up, this video is going to be completely different than any video that I've ever made. I'm gonna sit in this chair and I'm gonna talk. This is just gonna be completely different. But watch it. I think you need to watch this. You see, winning at First Lego League has nothing to do with a robot at all. In fact, it has everything to do with these eight core values. The, those right there. Now, this is my favorite core value. We have fun. Seriously, who doesn't like to have fun? The other top core value that I think first has is what we discover is more important than what we win. Winning is not the goal. Learning is the goal. So you all ask me, how do you win at First Lego League? Well, it, it's pretty simple. Did you learn something this season? Can you go home at the end of a practice and say, you know what, hey, that was awesome. I learned how to program using a light sensor. I programmed my robot to follow a black line or a white line or whatever color line. I learned how to build a new attachment. Maybe I learned how to be a better teammate, be a better leader. Maybe I learned something about the project that just blew my mind. Did I learn something new? That's the first question you have to ask yourself. And if the answer is absolutely 100% yes, then you won First Lego League. The other thing, the second thing is did I really, really, really embody the rest of the core values? You know, being a gracious professional, uh, being able to really cooperate with other teams and uh, that you're competing against, like cooperation. Uh, did I have fun? Did I uh, really respect my coaches and mentors and everybody around me, my teammates? Was I a, a good teammate? Did I communicate well with them? Did I work well with them? Did, and the most important thing that you need to ask yourself is, Am I proud of this team? Am I proud of what we've done? Am I able to go home and lay my head at, uh, on my bed at the end of the night and, and say, hey, no matter what happened, win or lose, am I proud to be a part of this? And am I looking forward to next year? If the answers to these questions are yes, then you won for Slego League. These things are great to win, but they mean nothing. The real trophy, the trophy, is up here and in here. If you can say, hey, I learned something, I grew as a person, I grew as a teammate, you win. The, these, these things are fun, they're awesome, great. I encourage my teams to win first place, I want them to win first place, but really where the, the, the desire for the win is, is that I can say, as a mentor, my students had a phenomenal experience and they're better off because of it. As a mentor, if I can get one of my students to be like, Mom, Dad, look what I made at the end of practice, that's a win. Or go home and be like, hey, I can automate my sink or make my toilet flush without touching it, waving a hand with an ultrasonic sensor. That's a win for me. If I can look down the gymnasium at a competition and see my team cheering on another team with all their hearts, that is a win for me. It's all about, it's nothing about the robot. It's all about the person, the student. When you ask me, how do I win first Lego League? I know this is not what you meant, but this is my answer. This is my answer. Uh, this is how you win first Lego League. You win by learning, by growing, and having fun. Those are the three things, the three secrets to winning First Lego League, that is what winning First Lego League means to me. And I hope that's what it means to you too. I know this video is different, 
I can't wait to see next year's Into Orbit theme. I can't wait to hopefully make some videos about it. And uh, I will see you all in the next video.